Good afternoon my darlings, welcome to a new vlog, starting in, I actually don't know where in France we are darling. Do you, Let me look at the map, this is the funny thing, it's so about <laughs> two hours from Paris. Yes. <clears throat> so, it's called the Condor, where yes. we are, which is a private residence which you can rent mm -hmm. for events, I mean it'd be amazing for a wedding wouldn't it? Yes. But, if you look on a map, mm -hmm. I mean it's not an area of France we'll have ever explored, wow. Where are so we? So Paris is there. Yeah. And we're here in the green area. So oh. there's like a national park there and we're here. Stunning. So near Orly Orleans. Oh wow, so we're still quite far yeah. north. Yeah, but we're still very near Paris if yeah. you think about it. Look, France is a big country, mm. so you've got... That's where we are. That is, where, that is where we are starting the vlog from today. So we are here at an incredible place called the Condor. We got the train from home to St Pancras this morning, St Pancras to Paris, Paris to the Condor and we are here for two nights. There is a group of, I believe there are 16 of us here and we are here to celebrate Victoria's jewellery launch with Edge of Ember, the Gaia collection. We have got this entire place to ourselves for the next 48 hours. It is a stunning 18th century I'm not sure if it's technically a chateau, but incredible residence here just south of Paris. And we've got just the most wonderful couple of days planned. We've got a lovely dinner this evening. We have got yoga tomorrow. Um, we've got wine tasting, we've got cocktail making, and it's just gonna be a really wonderful couple of days. So let me show you our gorgeous room. So there are rooms in the main house, and Charlie and I are actually in one of the garden rooms, which is so perfect I for love us. The green sort of bed cover, would you call it? It's absolutely stunning. It's we've got this beautiful green velvet bed, this lovely kind of twirl style headboard. I love the stripy, <laughs> stripy wallpaper. It's absolutely beautiful. Little dressing table over there in the corner. And uh, Julia that showed us to the room said that we have got the sunrise I love this view. Fabric as well. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. We've got a sunrise view from here. I cannot wait to show you guys around. This place is just absolutely magical. Little bathroom. Look at these beautiful, they look like antique lampshades. And then we've got a little view out into some of the gardens here. It really is the most stunning place. We're gonna spend five minutes unpacking and then Charlie and I are going to put some walking boots on and do a little this bit of nice exploration. Um, Monogrammed. Ooh, whenever like we that. come to places, we're always looking at um, inspo for Straw Top Cottage. That's a really nice idea, Yeah, I would it? love to have monogrammed. <laughs> anything. And in other words, there's enough clothes hangers because that's my pet hate, isn't Yeah, it? we always get Normally into it. Normally the first thing we do when we stay in a hotel is cool down for more coffee capsules, mm -hmm. oat milk, yep. and clothes hangers. And look at this. So we are in one of the wings of the main house. That is the main house over there. It is truly sensational, so beautiful. And yeah, we're going to have a little bit of fresh air, a little walk around the grounds before it gets dark and then get ready for dinner. I am very happy with my travelling outfit of choice for today. I found this jumper dress, it is a cashmere jumper dress. I found this on Amazon and it is just the perfect silhouette. It's a very, it literally feels as though it's a, um, a roll neck on the top. It feels like just a general, just a cashmere jumper in the way that it fits. And then it goes down into a really elegant a-line skirt, very very pretty and feminine and I have cinched it in with my belt. I would say the colour is quite true in this clip, it's kind of a creamy oatmeal-y beige but I absolutely love it and it's super comfy and it's kept me nice and toasty warm so we did actually have a frost last night in the Cotswolds, it was very chilly when we left this morning but this kept me nice and snugly warm. So the night is kicking we off with some wine tasting. <laughs> The night is kicking off with some wine tasting down here in the wine cellar. They have got an incredible setup. My goodness, there are swords on the walls, which Alex is going to demonstrate for us now. <laughs>
welcome to our second day here in France. I apologise for the severe lack of vlogging last night, but we had a lot of catching up to do. All the girls are here, which is so lovely. Um, so we were just chatting, enjoying a lovely dinner in the beautiful, I think it's a Tudor barn building. Um, three course dinner with wines, we had the wine tasting as you saw, and it was a great evening. But today we have got yoga in 10-15 minutes or so. We've just had a lovely breakfast um, and then I'm going to show you around this gorgeous place and it's going to be a really lovely day. Without even realising, I have dressed completely matching to our bedroom. This is another beautiful dress from Amazon. The girls were very complimentary of this at breakfast this morning. And it also beautifully matches some of the lovely green jewellery from Victoria's collection. So I have embellished, embellished myself with lots of beautiful new pieces. Charlie and I are just going to sneak out to the gardens, which are so stunning. We had the most beautiful sunrise here this morning from our room. Um, so we're just going to go and take a few little photos, make the most of these beautiful surroundings, and then a quick change into our yoga gear. Good morning. Outfit of the morning. So I have got on my mulberry, I think this is the mulberry harlow bag. It's got the little pearl detail, which is so pretty. Matches my lucifex with the pearl and then I have got my green Amazon dress and Fairfax and Faye boots. Where are we going to go for snapping darling? I don't know, where do you think? <laughs> Maybe by the old part of the house I think. Yeah. So we'll walk around. Where the sun is this morning. Beautiful, let's go and explore. Okay, that was a super quick snapping session and now into my yoga kit. I forgot to bring a proper workout jumper so I've just flung one of my Holland Cooper knits over my shoulders. You can see the gorgeous Edge of Ember necklace cluster, both necklaces from Victoria's lovely collection. Flip you around here so you can see a little bit more clearly. I think this one here has got to be my favourite, works perfectly with all the green tones in my wardrobe. So without further ado, I think Charlie and I will definitely benefit from a nice morning stretch. So let's go to yoga. A wonderful start today with yoga and a gong sound bath. Half of the class fell asleep and half of the class felt very emotional afterwards. It's all about the power of the vibrations, but I feel great afterwards, so does Charlie. So having a productive power hour, doing a few emails, and I thought in the meantime I would show you a little bit around this incredible property. So this is the main courtyard of the house. The family um, have renovated this incredible property you can now rent this whole place out for private rental how fabulous to have a big party here um, as i said it's about two hours drive south southeast ish of paris this incredible big courtyard area and in this room is a swimming pool my goodness great size swimming pool the house itself is 18th century but very recently renovated so it's got all the modern touches inside I'm gonna take you this way actually and show you the kitchen so the kitchen is this big bright white marble filled room it is so filled with light with all of these windows around the outside gorgeous big table here for breakfast or lunch or dinner I think we're going to have lunch here shortly I love all the mir mirrored cabinets and this edging is giving me all kinds of inspo for at home. I have just popped on a nice cozy Holland Cooper knit and some Adenola leggings to get an hour or so of work done. I think everyone else is showering after yoga. Got this little sink area here, a lower level preparation area, coffee station and this big, is this a range? Some kind of 
Oh, Wolf. Oh my gosh, Emily Canham told me all about Wolf appliances. Apparently they are the best of the best. And the house is very long and thin, so you go from one room to the next. This is the entrance hall area. My goodness, you can see it's very um, contemporary in the style of furniture, but then they've cherry-picked some really beautiful antique pieces as well. They go together so wonderfully. I love the little lampshades on the chandeliers. Are these real? No. <laughs> some beautiful French antique furniture throughout. This gorgeous fireplace. Oh my gosh, I think we're all gonna sit around here with a glass of wine later. Perfect. Up the stairs, there are a couple of bedrooms and Charlie and I have made ourselves a little office set up through here. A very big desk in the corner, two chairs. What's this? <laughs> Magnifying glass and letter opener. This incredible big bookshelf with the gliding ladder. And then, oh, what's through here? This is TV that screen. TV, I think. That's such a good idea. Wow, fantastic. <clears throat> This is very kind of boudoir-esque, kind of crazy bear styling in here, isn't it? Yeah. With the red velvets, the studded sofas. Very impressive. And they have got some gorgeous art throughout the house. I love this still life of the flowers. So beautiful. Well, the sun has come out again. It is a glorious day, just a tiny bit warmer than it is back at home. So still a little bit of, um, a little bit of chill in the air. I thought I didn't make the most of wearing <laughs> this lovely dress yesterday. So I popped it back on again for lunch. If I remember correctly, this dress was a very, very good price point for such good quality cashmere. I feel like this is gonna be one of those things that I just wear over and over and over again this autumn winter season. It is, as I think I, men I think I mentioned yesterday, it is from Amazon, which I just can't believe. I never would have thought I would be finding my elegant autumn winter cashmere dresses from Amazon. It's got a little bit of um, Max Mara kind of vibes about it. In fact, I prefer this one to the very expensive, literally eight times the price, Victoria Beckham cashmere jumper dress that I got last year. So that is saying something. I'll see if Charlie can get a proper outfit of the day snap um, outside in a second. But to show you how I'm accessorizing it, of course, of course, of course, I have got some of Victoria's gorgeous Edge of Ember Gaia pieces. I'm really loving creating a little bit of a cluster, which I'm probably getting all tangled, of necklaces. I'll leave all these pieces linked down below. I just think they look so beautiful together. And then the same rings and bracelet as I was wearing earlier. Such a wearable collection and I think it looks great with summer pieces and autumn winter knitwear alike. And then in my hunt for autumn winter pieces from Amazon, I found a couple of lovely, very classic um, accessories. So you might remember last year, I was desperately on the hunt for some leather ride, not riding, some leather driving gloves and I have found the perfect ones. These ones, I will leave all of these bits linked down below of course, these ones have got the most gorgeously soft, not sure if it's cashmere or wool, um, certainly feels like cashmere lining in this gorgeous taupey shade and then I thought these were a bit of fun as well, perhaps for dog walks, that kind of thing, a really lovely herringbone pattern, these little bobbles. Sometimes you just want fabric gloves over leather so I thought they were a really lovely couple of pairs. And then an autumn winter wardrobe staple, again, whether you're just heading out for a dog walk or going to the pub for a Sunday roast or styling up um, a simple jumper dress. I'll see how it looks with this dress. This gorgeous, this gorgeous uh, kind of tartan pattern wool scarf. Never underestimate how warm and cozy a wool scarf can be. And a really nice way of styling. I've got you propped up on a lampshade, but let's see how this looks. Sometimes I really like to tuck my scarf into a belt and it just adds another layer of coziness but adds a little bit of interest to a jumper dress especially if like today I'm wearing this jumper dress for the second time it just gives it a slightly different look to the outfit please try not to focus on all of my belongings in the background of this shot, but you can see here how the belt just cinches the scarf in and makes it part of the look. Okay, I think we're ready for so lunch. This here is the barn where we had yoga and our sound bath this morning. What did you think of the sound bath? I loved it. Darling? Yeah, I have done it once before. I'm trying to think when, because- You did it at Delsford. 
I'm not sure, but it's amazing. I mm. mean, it's it's a weird sensation, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. And this this is my favourite part of the property, I think, because it's. I don't know how old it is, but you can tell that this is an original barn. Mm. Pro it's probably at least two, three, four hundred years old. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The beams inside are gorgeous. Mm. So we've just been taking a few little snaps here. Would you mind showing that out for the Let's do of this. the midday? Do you know where this cashmere jumper dress is from, darling? Amazon. Yes. There you go. Amazing. It is amazing. It's fabulous. But I don't want people to think I'm re-wearing the same outfit as yesterday, so I've added this lovely wool scarf cinched in with my belt. Where's the wool scarf from? Amazon. Amazon as yeah, well. Isn't that amazing? And this is the jewellery collection. Look at the jewellery collection. It's it so is lovely. beautiful. It's called the Gaia. This is actually from her last collection, which I believe was called Cosmos. Um, and then we... Cosmos, like the flowers. I love the Cosmos. detail. Isn't it stunning? Let's show us the necklace. Necklaces, which layer up so beautifully together. They stunning. also come in um, with like a pearly background as opposed to the green. Lovely. And little earrings. I've got the droplet ones on my wish list, but they have been very popular. Uh, same bag as yesterday because it's the only one I bought with me. Is that actually a mulberry bag? It is. It doesn't look it like looks it. looks aspinal. Aspinally. Yeah, it does look as aspinally. Yeah. Um, diagonally. And then my same Fairfax and Favour boots, which the girls thought were Gucci. And which you have suede sprayed. I have. I liquid proofed them before we came. Brilliant. There we go. other people in my vlog. Thank you darling for having us. Thank you. No, I've been vlogging just by myself the whole time. People oh, are probably really? like, what a loner. She said she's here with friends and then she's oh, just vlogging by herself. I so always darling. do that though in my vlogs. No, no. And then it's like, there are, there are other people on the trip. Because yeah. I always forget. And so you're always in your zone when you vlog. You are, exactly. And sometimes I need to warm up, so I need to like vlog in private. Yeah. And then you get a bit more brave. Yeah. And then you get a few oh, more people. Hey. A bit of why noise oh, helps. Oh, but darling, tell us why we are here. Okay, so Josie's very kindly come along to my little mini press trip for my Edge of Ember Gaia collection. Mm -hmm. So it's my third jewellery collection with Edge of Ember. It is a collection of pieces inspired by natural organic textures. Mother Earth was the key theme. We love it. Um, so everything is just really beautiful and textured and in either, either in beautiful little gold, Stunning. gold colours, or in silvers. Or silver. Yeah, there's a, there's, love a, it. there's a few silver pieces, oh, but a lot so of my um, a lot of my folk love like a bit of silver as well. Gorgeous. So a few little pieces. Um, but yeah, there's just so many what earrings, is your necklaces. Favorite on the spot? My favourite. I did have it on a second ago. Someone's borrowed it to take pictures oh, with. But it's a big chunky. It's a chunky. Oh, it's it's this. But oh, the necklace. Oh yeah, Nini's and wearing it. This. It's stunning. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah, the oh big chunky um, bracelet and necklace. I love. And it photographs but so beautifully. It does. Everybody is wearing it for lunch, and it just looks. It, everyone styled it so differently, and it just looks yeah, so beautiful. It does. It really does. Thank you. What a you. treat! What Thank a treat to be coming. here, and the most gorgeous collection. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you, darling. So we've had a very hearty lunch and now Susie has persuaded us to go out on the golf buggies. We were going to have a race until we found out that they've got four seats. So we're going to explore the grounds. Right, am I, am I calling shotgun? Let's do this. You press hard and stop and I feel like I'm just, I'm just gonna show the height of Susie's heels for context. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Driven us to the most romantic point of the uh, the estate. Oh, under this
rather menacing car chase. We have all decided that we are going to get our laptops and do a little bit of work together. So this is just the perfect, look at me and all my friends. This is just the perfect setting. I mean, we haven't had That a sounds perfect. Yet, so. Claire. Claire. She's Claire. Claire. So is the Provence. It's very similar to the other ones. Okay. okay. They've all been wonderful so far. So wonderful. Merci. Paolo, you never lead us astray. No. <laughs> sounds fabulous. Wow. Okay, so we've wrapped up our working time. Hello, darling. Hello. And this is our dinner table setup. It has already been laid out, ready for us. We're gonna go and get ready. But what a beautiful space. It is such a glorious evening. I think we're gonna take some lovely golden hour shots. Just so stunning. La, la. darlings it is our second morning here in France and sadly we are leaving this morning it has been a whirlwind trip but a lot of fun we have got a little drive now back to Paris I wish that we had thought ahead and um, planned to stay a little bit longer in Paris because I have not been in so so long and um, I think Charlie and I have decided that we might do like a day trip or an overnight stay in the next couple of weeks or months because I forgot how easy it is to get to Paris on the Eurostar. So I've just popped on a super snuggly cosy outfit for the journey back. This lovely knit that I got from um, Harrods in their 10% off promotion. I've nearly finished packing. I didn't wear my lovely Amazon gilet but this is pretty much my Cotswolds uniform. I'll probably change into this just before we get home. I'm so glad I was able to find this one this year with the dark, um, dark piping on it. And I even bought, <laughs> so that I could be super snuggly in our lovely room, I even bought my Amazon Essentials dressing gown. Lots of you guys were asking about this last time I wore it in a little makeup get ready with me. It is so cozy and soft. I wish you guys could feel how snuggly this is, but I am going to wear my reversible Gucci coat on the way home. I wore it patterned side out on the way here, so I think I'm going to wear it plain side out on the way home. Leggings, Prada riding boots, Hair scrape back in a pose. And just like that, we are home again after a wonderful couple of days in France. Very easy journey back home, although it does feel like we have been traveling all day. <laughs> so Charlie and I are going to have some yummy pasta. I think we've got a non tonda delivery that we're going to have for dinner. We've had some lovely deliveries since, um, since we've been away and I wanted to show you this in particular. I get so many questions about my beautiful watch, which I just absolutely love. This was a huge splurge and treat to myself for my 30th birthday. And I had an email from Olivia Burton and I noticed this one on their website and I thought, what 
a fabulous affordable alternative and I have never seen anything quite so similar looking to my watch than this one here. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Color-wise, it's a little bit slightly more champagne-y in its color and you can see that it's got a very similar shape watch face. The sparkles all around the outside, just like mine. Um, and then this really beautifully delicate metal bracelet. I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous, a really beautiful um, watch in a very, very similar style to mine if you have been looking for something like this. And then I also spotted this one on their website, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. Again, it's got a very, very timeless look to it. You've got these gems in the watch face, this green, almost a malachite looking um, backing to the watch. And again, a really beautiful watch strap. So if you are looking for something to add to a Christmas or birthday wish list or looking to treat yourself to a beautiful new watch, I think these are just absolutely beautiful, very elegant and classic designs. That really is beautiful, so similar to mine and a fraction of the cost. <laughs> we have also had a top up here from Soho Skin. Oh, I don't know if this is something that we've tried before. Bright and Lift and Energize. Do you know what? This sounds like exactly what I need right now. So the Soho Skin products, we went to their launch dinner a few months ago and it's all designed for those with a hectic, busy lifestyle. You get small versions of these in a little pouch when you um, stay at any of the Soho house rooms now, which I think is such a fantastic idea. I don't know if they've actually expanded the range since then. There's a lot of products here that I don't recognize the sound of. Cream cleanser, liquid exfoliator overnight cream. I actually need a new I, a new night cream. I might give this one a go this evening. So obviously when you stay in the rooms you don't get quite this size of product. You get little minis but if you do decide that any of the products you absolutely love then um, Soho House members can purchase a full size version. I'm going to give this a go this evening and I shall report back how fabulous it is. Votary bamboo cotton pads. That is always very very handy to go with their daily apple toner. Mm. I have loved every product that I have ever tried from this brand and this sounds like something wonderful to add to an autumn evening routine so I'll try both of these out tonight. I also want to do some tanning on my face tonight because I feel like that always makes my complexion instantly look healthier. What else do we have? Soho Skin Eye Cream. Lots of little goodies here from Origins. I think my skin probably could do with some of this this evening. This is their Mega Mushroom Relief and, Re Re Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. I think I went a little bit overboard on my active ingredients, my tretinoin, so I think that's what my skin will need this evening. And then we've also got a new razor from Venus. Wonderful. Lots of lovely bits to try out. Gosh, it's so funny, we've only been away for two nights and yet I really miss the sound of the church bells and our lovely garden and of course my lovely babies. Have you had a good time with your new friend? Yes, I've been such a good boy. But we have also had a delivery today from the Cotswold Veg Box. They deliver local fruit and veg. We first discovered them during the lockdown and at the moment they of course have an amazing selection of gourds and pumpkins which you can use for fabulous table decoration. I mean, look at this. Very knobbly and gnarly. Lots of little ones too. Um, this is gonna be perfect for our tablescape tomorrow when Charlie's brother, George, girlfriend Petra and their friends come over for dinner. I actually just saw on Em's Instagram story, she went somewhere in London where it was a gourd like this and this place chopped the top off and did a crumble, like an, um, an apple and raspberry crumble inside the gourd. So I feel like I might get a little bit creative with these, but yeah, if you do live in the area, you can order boxes of gourds from the Cotswold Veg Company. Such a great selection. Oh, it's so nice to be back in our cozy living room with our two fluffy boys. Are we going to snuggle up on the sofa, babies? Look how great these are still looking literally haven't touched these in about six weeks. And then one more thing which arrived while we were away is the brand new iPhone. I actually don't know what is so special about this one compared to the old one, but the camera on my old one was getting a little bit dodgy, a bit of a conspiracy theory. I feel like Apple always lower the quality of the camera on their old phone through some kind of crazy software update when they bring out a new one. 
Is that just me that's noticed that? Let me know if you guys have thought the same. Uh, but this is the new iPhone 14. I think that's right. We shall see. Is the camera going to be visibly better quality? Who knows? Um, they don't even send you a plug anymore. <laughs> you literally just get the wire. And what else have we got in here? A sticker. Wonderful. Just what I needed. And a load of instruction booklets. They've changed the font. Oh my gosh, it's already got my logo. Aha, uh -huh. this must already be set up on my iCloud. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, let's see if the camera is any better. Oh, it does look sharper. That does look pretty darn good. Wow. I was discussing with the girls earlier about vlogging on iPhones versus vlogging on a camera. In fact, I'll insert this clip, the iPhone clip, on the screen now, and then versus the Canon clip, and then we can compare the two. <gasps> Is that Bobo? Yeah. Alex has just got home to his sweet little boy. Sweet friend. Should we send Alex a picture of us two looking oh, very handsome? I'm such a good guy. <laughs> we really missed our daddy and our mummy, but we had such a good time with our friend Chloe. Thanks, Dad. We Just had such a good time. Please excuse this awful lighting. Um, I've got you propped up on the window and it is almost dark outside. It is half past six and it is nearly pitch black outside. Autumn is here. I decided not to do, oh my gosh, my skin, I just look, I look very tired and not healthy at the moment. I've not eaten well, to be honest, since before Singapore. Um, and I think that as well as traveling upsetting your skincare routine obviously upsets your diet as well so you know when you just feel like you don't look your best and you don't feel your top energy levels that's where i'm at now so after our pasta tonight we're going to try and be a little bit more nutritious with our meals over the weekend and beyond um and i'm going to try and get <laughs> try and get back to good health so i decided not to try anything new with my skincare routine tonight i've just gone back to my usual favorites so um i used my face halo as of course i always do and then i've been finishing this lovely cleanser from l'occitane it is their cream to foam facial cleanser infused with fig and honey for normal to oily skin it's a really lovely cleanser which my face halo does take off the majority of my makeup, um, but this will take off any oop, any remnants. And I find the fig and honey formula is just very calming. So like at the moment where my skin is a little bit battered from um, overdoing it with the active ingredients, I think my skin and me was just a little bit too strong this month. So I'm going to go back to um, last month's formula. I will, all you have to do is email them um, and you can change your formula. But this hopefully will calm it down a little bit. And then the L'Occitane Immortel essential water is a fantastic toner just takes away any remnants that might be left on the skin from your cleansing super hydrating and i find really great at refining the skin texture i believe my lox tan discount code may still be active so i'll leave that link down below if it is and then i have been trying out the ceramite af <laughs> eye balm from drunk elephant this one here again i apologize about the awful lighting and it seems to be really lovely i can't really tell you any long-term benefits yet um but it is lovely and hydrating on the under eye area and then one of my favorite products of all time the le serum from clay de po again i didn't take this with me in singapore or in france which was a huge error i need to get myself another my nose looks so red i need to get myself another travel size because i really notice when i don't use this my skin craves it um i normally only use it in the mornings but you can use it morning and evening so i've just 
treated myself to a load of pumps of this and my skin is already feeling very happy about it and then because i really want to add a little bit of color into my complexion it feels a little bit gray you know and you just haven't eaten well maybe a little bit too much rosé um i just feel like i need to add health back into my skin and i do find that having a little bit of a tan does that for me so this is the tan Lux super glow serum I'm going to apply some of that tonight. I haven't actually used that much of this before. My go-to normally is actually the Vita Liberata tanning drops and I'll put them in with my morning serum. Um, but this is the one that I've got here in the bathroom. So I'll give this a go. I might not even use these vlog clips because as well as looking blue, <laughs> I feel goofy with my brace in and I just look a little bit scary, but hey ho. You want to make sure with tanning serums that you get it right up to your hairline, to your ears. And always make sure, oh gosh, always make sure that you wash your hands after using any kind of tanning serum because it will stain your hands. Walnut gate update, you can see that my thumbs are still a little bit black from the walnuts. Um, I did go for a brown nail varnish to try and hide the stains under my nails. Um, but I'm going to give myself a manicure tomorrow. I'm going to get back on the peloton, have a super pampering shower, and hopefully start to feel a little bit um, better within myself and my skincare routine. I need to get back into good habits. Um, but yeah, darlings, Charlie has just let me know that pasta is going to be ready in five minutes. So I am going to bid you farewell, good night. I hope you've enjoyed our lovely trip to France. Very grateful to Victoria and the Edge of Ember team for inviting me and Charlie to join in the celebration of the launch of the collection, which I will leave linked down below. It's so beautiful, hopefully still um, some of your favorites in the stock. And darlings, that's all from me. I'm gonna go and snuggle with my boys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.